because every time I have butterflies in my stomach, I'm like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm like, no, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm scared or I'm nervous. No, I, I'm actually excited that I'm going to do this. Do I have an MRI of the brain next week? I'm excited about that. That's going to be fun. Not really, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Put the headphones on. Put the headphones on. <laughs> I know. No adamant, girl. I already told my doctor, give me some pops and pills. I yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I have a mammogram in two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one wow. tomorrow and an ultrasound because this part hurts over here. There's, I know it's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah. No, but I still, I mean, we get it still. checked because, yeah. Okay. That's another thing. Once you have cancer, it's like the, the doctors will just test everything and you will be paranoid too. You'll be like, I want that tested. It's fantastic. I requested yeah. a PET scan and nice. I'm so glad that I did because before I went into the tube for the PET scan, I had made the appointment. I was there. One of my friends who had, who took me to some chemo treatments too. Oh my gosh. I had two friends who took me, um, and would take me to everything, surgeries, all of it. Um, God sends for sure. We're sitting in the waiting room and I'm like, okay, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm scared. But I, I asked for this thing. It wasn't something even my doctor was like, you, she's like, you know, you don't have to have it. I'm, we, and I was like, no, for my peace of mind, I need this. And I was afraid it was going to just show that everything was lit up. And I, in my head, I went, well, if it is, it is. And then you'll know and you can do something about it. Like knowledge truly is power. Absolutely. Turned out, turned out to be um, just, yeah. it was nothing because they had yeah. already taken out all the things. And yeah. this was after my surgeries. So they were like, nope, you're clear. I'm like, Great, we'll do it once a year then. Thanks. Absolutely. Oh, you have I love it. I love it because I, they actually say that people who go to physicals and like take care like if they have a symptom of something go to the doctor immediately, they actually live longer. Because whatever yeah. they have, they catch it early. So now I am we're both like that. It's like, you know, like the MRI of the brain, I don't have to do it. I just cuz I know what it is cuz it's a birth defect in my brain which is nothing. It's like of some veins. Uh, I know, it makes me matter. but you know, it's like, it showed in the MRI two years ago and then a CT, CT scan, it showed with no contrast, it showed the same thing in the same place. But then I'm like, I want to do an MRI, you know? So I did ask to go to a neurosurgeon and like, they had to order the MRI. You know how the system yeah. is, but that was the only person that could order it. And I've been delaying, you know, like doing it, but I'm going to, call next week or this week later this week and just book yeah. it and and do it and take some out of it and just get it over with and know that everything is okay because i know everything is okay and you only have to do it once a year and so and and i will say i I'm, I'm the biggest um i had the biggest aversion to needles honestly still do but i'm so much more chill now um, yeah. yeah my body goes into like absolute shock <laughs> if they don't get the vein the first time yeah, but, I know. but I am able to at least communicate to the nurses and be like, if we don't happen to get it the first time, me crying, just weeping uncontrollably and shaking, not a reflection on you. It's just what happens. Oh. We're okay. We're okay. And they're like, um, oh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get it the first time. I was like, great. That'd be awesome. Like, yeah. It's just part of it. It's just part of being aware of like, we, we go through it a little bit every year. So you once a year for this. and I'll Well, the MRI, no, not really once a year. Not even that. Oh, good. It's a birth defect that I had forever. And most people, a lot of people have it. Oh. And it's called DVM where you have an extra like veins or something that are oh. like protruding. But it doesn't mean absolutely anything. But of course, because I went through cancer, I'm like, hmm. I want, I want to have the MRI. It wasn't necessary. My GP was like, if you don't need to do it, but I was like, I don't want to, but I want to, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. I'm going to have multiple mammograms this year because multiple doctors I had, my surgeon was like, you know, you don't actually need one in June or whenever. Like there, my radiologist was like, I'd like you to have this before you come see me. I was like, sure. No problem. And I saw my surgeon. He's like, you know, you don't need to get it that soon. I need you to have one for this. And, th and I was like, and I go, is it a problem to have more than one? And he's like, no, it just hurts you. And I was like, I'm fine. 
I will get multiple. That's fine. What's a, what's a mammogram? It's nothing. They squish your boob. It's nothing. I know. I was like, I've had those before. We're fine. I've had yeah. tons of those now. Yeah. They even squished mine after my biopsy. Ah, that hurts. After my uh, after my second bio, uh, yeah, after my second biopsy. Oh, when we get to that episode, we're gonna need some trigger warnings on there because. Oh yeah, we should put is, trigger warnings. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the, just one of the hardest things I've ever gone through, and we've gone oh. through cancer. Like, my oh. second biopsy was a like just a massacre. It's it was. What the? So, so bloody, so painful. I'm and sorry. then they squished me in a mammogram. That I <laughs> couldn't they do an ultrasound? No. They said they needed the picture with the new chip in it. The little clip thing that they leave in you. Ah, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's all it is what it is, but I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So I'm glad that one of the worst things happened in the beginning so that I had a frame of reference to go, oh, it's not as bad as that. Okay. I'm, wow. Worse than chemo and radiation. And oh, no, no, chemo was definitely the worst worse than the yeah. biopsy. Chemo is the worst. Yeah. Um, a, my biopsy was worse than radiation for me. Yeah. Wow. No, radiation is actually so easy. Okay. It's the so. fatigue of, compared to chemo, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. After we finished, the, they're like, okay, you're going to have to go in five days a week. And I was like, okay, but I just lay there? Like, nobody's going to put anything in me? How am I going to feel? Is it going to burn? And they're like, it might burn. You might get this. You might be tired. I was like, I'm already tired. We're fine. <laughs> exactly. Tired on top of tired. You don't even feel it. No. I drive home and go to sleep. Girl, yes. My last chemo, I drove home. I shouldn't have done that because my friend you was drove yourself. And I had an accident because I was out of it. And but I, you don't realize that you're messed up. I was messed up. Yeah. Oh my god. The sixth chemo, I did that. That was the dumbest thing think, I've done. I don't think they're allowed to release you to not you after chemo. They did. Oh no. Maybe they, they got did. someone. Oh my gosh. I've Maybe. never. Yeah, no, they okay. did. They did. That let me go. It's okay. They, they didn't. You're not allowed to do anything. I did it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I don't know. Then nobody told me. See, that's another thing. They told you that. They didn't tell me that. Oh, there's so many, so many different things that certain doctors will tell you versus other doctors, and that's part of the process too. Is learning to ask more questions than you ever dreamed, because. Yes they don't they know all the things so they don't remember what regular people don't know for good or bad whatever they just don't remember that we don't know everything they know so they like hit the highlights but not the specifics a hundred percent yeah so. and you have to ask questions that is the most important thing mm -hmm. uh, i'm not saying i didn't ask the question i was you know it's oh. just i didn't know nobody told me but a lot of people that i met doing chemo they were like oh i don't know what i have and i don't know what stage is i was like you need to ask questions you need to know what stage you are what do you have where's the tumor you need to see the the images i always ask for the images you yeah. need to see the reports you need to really because yeah a lot of times they don't tell you stuff like with the brain i did an mri two years ago and they found this dvm thing which is nothing again it's nothing right. and nobody told me about it and then I do a CT scan for my sinuses. My sinuses are fine, but they're like, well, you have, there's something like in the left, um, it's called the frontal oh, lobe. Yeah. And so I pulled out the MRI, went to my oncologist, she says, it's the same thing. I was like, why didn't anybody tell me? I suffered for like a few days thinking I was, you know, I had something in my brain. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, oh my God, the cancer went to the brain. What? Which is not unheard of. No, it's, 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 it's right there. I mean, I, when I got my eyes checked, um, the uh, ophthalmologist, I guess. Yes, that, yes. The ophthalmologist. Chemo brain. Yeah, right. She, she goes, she's like, okay, well, I need to see you every year from yeah. here on out because breast cancer migrates to the eye more than most other body parts. Why um, did they tell you that? What? So, oh, and I was like, never would have known. It's that in the liver. That I knew because I had been told it. Because they're neighbors, the liver okay. to the breast. 
it's not going to go anywhere because oh, all the no, kids are not there anymore. But she's still <laughs> they <it's> there. <laughs> yes. Bye, bitch. Bye. <laughs> yes. Forever. Yeah. We're not oh, doing well, she, with them again. Mm -mm. She's, she was gone. Um, grateful. She played her part. And mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, do I wish I never had it? Yes. But would I have grown the way I've grown without yeah. it? No. This was like a master class in life, you know? I always said, you yeah. know, <laughs> whenever, before I came to this planet, I was like, okay, what I need to do to get enlightened, uh, you have to sacrifice your right boob. Okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> I'll, like, get a, <laughs> I'll get a fun new one and I'll play with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all going to be great, Grace. Exactly. It's Titty terrible. and Big Mama. Titty. Mm -hmm. Titty is my, my new one. Big Mama is the old one. You know, she's a little depressed. She's <laughs> and I, I got, I got to keep both of mine. And yes, they good. Maybe good. we can put a poll up and have people help me name them. I don't. Know. I know we need to name your twins. 